Hi, George here. This video is going to be a quick video to show you the five ways that you could do a manual manipulation to create patency in a patient that is suffering from a soft tissue obstruction in their pharynx. And what that basically means is your patient has lost muscle tone, the tongue has moved backwards, and now the pharynx is occluded and they can't ventilate. So let's look at some ways that we can open up that patient's airway. This is going to be demonstrated on a mannequin, so bear with me while I get it all set up. And remember, it's made out of plastic, so it may not move as great as I'd like it to. All right, so let's take a look at these manipulations. Zoom in. Now, the first one I want to show you is the head tilt chin lift. Chin, head tilt chin lift. To do that, one hand on the patient's forehead, the other one on the chin, tilt it. You've created an anterior movement of the tongue off the back of the pharynx. The second one, now I am going to turn the patient's head. But the second one is called a jaw thrust. Now the jaw thrust is done whenever you suspect a cervical spine issue and you don't want to immobilize, and you want to, sorry, you want to immobilize the patient's head while still opening up the airway so they can ventilate. Now you don't turn the patient's head, okay? I'm just turning this so you can see the hand positioning of my hands on the patient's face. Thumbs up, right? Two thumbs up. The thumbs go on these bones below the eye. Create two hooks with your index fingers. They go under the mandible, where the angle of the jaw is, the mandibular angle. So two thumbs on these bones right here below the eye. Grab the jaw with your hooked fingers at the angle of the jaw or the mandibular angle. Pull forward and what you do is you bring the tongue with the jaw or the mandible off the back of the posterior pharynx. So let's demonstrate that same technique with the patient in this lined up position. Thumbs on the bones beneath the face, hook the mandibular angle with your index fingers, pull forward, you've displaced the tongue, you have now a patent airway, or you should have one. The modified jaw thrust is very similar. What we do is we stabilize the patient's head like so. We put our index fingers, I'm just going to take this off so you can see. We put the index fingers on the patient's shoulders like that, manipulating the head so it doesn't go anywhere. And then we take our thumbs and we place our thumbs under the mandibular angle. And in doing so, we would take the jaw and move it anterior, taking the tongue off the back of the pharynx with it. Okay? So the modified jaw thrust stabilizes the head while still opening with the patient's airway. The next type of a maneuver that we would do is something called a chin lift. The chin lift is simply grabbing the patient's chin with your thumb between the lower lip and the chin. Your other couple fingers go underneath the mandible here in this fashion. I'm going to put my hand on the patient's head just to stabilize the head but I would pull anteriorly or forward on the patient's jaw in this fashion and take the tongue with the mandible, opens up the patient's airway. Now the last one I want to show you, and this one you would only do if you knew that the patient has been completely rendered immobile and will not respond to any stimulus because of the medications that they were given. But this last one is called the jaw lift. And how we do the jaw lift, take your thumb, place it inside the patient's mouth, you grab the tongue with your, your thumb, take your other fingers just like the chin lift, place them underneath the mandible, and now pull the mandible anterior. And now you're taking the tongue with you uh, when you do that maneuver, and it comes off the back of the patient's pharyngeal wall. When you do these maneuvers to open up the patient's airway, they would be done only in times of where the patient's had some sort of soft tissue obstruction to open up the airway, or you could also do them to open up the airway until you got a more advanced airway inside the patient themselves. So whether you had to put, a, say, a, a basic airway like an OPA into that patient, or maybe you had to put a endotracheal tube or another type of pharyngeal or laryngeal style airway into them. So those are the five manual manipulations that we we do when we're talking about manual manipulations on our patients. If you have any questions or comments, about this video, please let me know. If you liked it, thumbs up. Didn't like it, thumbs down. But also, please give me some constructive criticism how we can make this videos, this video and other videos in the future better for you. Till next time, this is George. Have yourself a great day, no matter where you are in the world. Take care. George out.